Just letting you guys know that we've got a few extra penguin plushies, shirts, and pins available over on Creator Inc. You don't have to worry about a pre-order waiting period this time, but once these items sell out, they're gone for good. So if you happen to miss out before, make sure to grab yours while you still have the chance. Previously on Amori. Amori, Basil! I ain't get ever tag along with us. Why are you always stay in your little square? Oh, you know I'd love to, but I'm f***ing dead. What? But what do you mean? I'm dead tired from making sandwiches all day. Here, sandwiches for everyone. Yay! Woo! <laughs> no dark undertones at all. Yay! And now back to... Waiting for something to happen. Help! The sneak of bee. Back with some more Mori. When we last left off, we helped uh, Captain Space Boyfriend get over his freaking girl troubles by beating the living shit out of him. <laughs> yes, that's the only way. And then we sent him home and had him get a third talking to from his dad. It was like, Sorry, I'm so stop me. Stop whining over that stupid bitch. Nobody likes her anyway. You're way too good for her. Dad, I just want to go fucking sleep it off in my bed. Shut the hell up. No. You're gonna go out there and do some yard work now. Be good to put some fucking hair on your chest. Go. Oh, dad. <laughs> it was sweet. I liked it. I liked it. I feel like that was a nice, nice way, I think, to more likely is probably the end of space. Uh, boyfriend, boys, uh, story in general. Uh, now we just need to find and murder the crap out of Sweetheart, and we will have a beautiful bow on our story. But yes, needless to say, uh, last episode went a bit long. It actually went, when I was going back and editing, I was surprised how uh, long <laughs> it went. Like, I actually really thought, okay, by this time this is cut down, I'm thinking like an hour and a half. And I got to it like well into an hour and a half and I was still editing and I'm like, there is no way once I cut out the remainder of this that it's gonna be, and it, it's not gonna be an hour and a half. It was gonna go well over two hours. So it seemed just better to split it off at this point. Cause it's clear that this is, there is gonna be a lot of stuff to uncover uh, in this uh, end game scenario where you go back through the world and find all the new stuff. But it's fun, I'm enjoying it. I, I do like uh, the feeling of going back to old places and finding new stuff that you tend to get in end game material. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Pietro Pagliaro said, Sonny is one of the few characters that can unironically say the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, yes. Truly, yes. Good God. How deep does this fucking headspace rabbit hole go? I mean, seriously, the imagination on this kid. He literally created life. Life. He recreated his friends perfectly in their younger selves. Or, well, I imagined younger selves. Honestly, I don't, I don't know, but it... This Sonny looks like he's older than his Amori self, right? So I'm assuming that his friends are also older than the selves that we're seeing here. Sort of like we're turning to a simpler time. And the fact that he even went out of his way to create a whole end game for his fucking imaginary world. Damn, man. Damn. Do you have like a D&D &D like map set somewhere that you're planning and drawing all this shit out? He's like, all right, I'm gonna have this spot where Kel can throw his ball in the hedge maze. He's gonna hit a button, open the spikes, let me go to this other area and talk to a dude and get a password for a code to open a big statue, which leads me to a boss. It's like, oh my God, dude, Jesus. I'm honestly surprised Sonny somehow finds the time to get his chores done when he's spending 90% of his day putting together this insane world and all the healing item chests that are everywhere. But Pietro, thank you so much for your hilarious and true comment. And for that reason, you are comment of the day. But all right, we're gonna be continuing our exploration of uh, the post-game Hikikomori headspace. And uh, things get pretty crazy. So I'm gonna leave it to pass Nico. Take it from here, man. Okay, there's a fucking letter out here somewhere. I know it. Hey, a chest as well. If I go up, it just, it just takes me there regardless, right? Whoa, that chest was moving. That was weird. I was trying to... Oh, hey. There it is. Was it moving with the wind or some shit? Or is it just trying to make the place feel more aimless? I actually realized, too, these aren't actually forming holes either, are they? Oh! I did see something, though. So we're getting staticky. Since I'm getting close to death. All right, past the end of the road. So where would that be? It's seemingly done, unless that's the nose. I'm gonna draw hair and ears and clothes. Could that be like the 
the road at, um, like that dark road in the deep well or something? Can I like finally go down that way now? Oh, hey! Cozy up with your friends, sure! Wow. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God, we are freezing my balls off. <laughs> Actually, no, I feel great. Everyone else is freezing. <laughs> God, what a great day today is. I'm just gonna bet that's for like fucking achievement shit, right? Oh, hey, it's actually a little different. Now we're all cuddled up. Still cold, though. So the Sprout Mole Village on Otherworld. We got construction moles. After swear our inner final episode, some Sprout Moles are trying to move back to the, the colonies. <laughs> this is this is prime real estate. It's free real estate. Many were lost in the second grade move, but sacrifice must be made for progress. <laughs> it's much roomier than the back in Sprout Mole Village. Maybe even too roomy. Is this TV on before? Very big TV. You were not here before. Batsy. My friends are slowly returning. Well, at least most of them. I don't think. I don't remember this TV being on either. So this is likely the elder uh, Sprout Mole who we fucking murdered. That was probably his place, right? This is prime real estate. Everybody keeps saying that. Uh, I don't know feel about having a roommate. Hopefully they will wash my dishes for me. Hopefully they'll buy my groceries for me. We are highly intelligent creatures, yes. They'll fill my laundry for me. Uh, okay. So they're moving back here from the other place near uh, Sweetheart's Castle. Oh, hey, can I, I can actually go back in here. Oh. Ooh, I can still run into to something here, huh? Or weird nightmare things. Hmm, okay, so I'm not totally, I totally, I totally escaped something's influence. I wouldn't be surprised if this was here before and I just missed it. Liar. <laughs> I wonder who says liar at one point. Like liar that she's dead? Sonny, I'm sorry, that again. Which is, I think it's clearly Basil, right? Actually, no, I think I did come back here before and I saw that, no, 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 that was the first time I came in. I came into the bar when I was following Basil and there was a giant mirror and I examined it. But I didn't come try coming back here uh, afterwards. I think someone, Sonny saying, I think him saying Sonny, I'm sorry. I feel like, I feel like that's Basil. Maybe that's the scent, what Basil, I don't know, Basil's last words or something. Like, I, I do have a feeling Basil, like, hanged himself. And I wonder who said liar. Like, him saying liar that Mari's dead, Sonny saying that. See you, dude. Good talk. Do these guys come back? Oh, no, the red light. Oh, it's locked. Can't go back. Like a lot of these, just one and done. I mean, I guess it, I guess it makes sense in a way, because, I mean, help. We already see that something is following me out in the real world, right? I've come to sort of accept it. Also, I haven't found a point for these tentacles yet. I actually thought at some point I'd have that be like a collectible as well. Maybe there is no purpose to it. It's just, it's just there. It's just tentacles. Just stick out of the ground for reasons. All right, time to go look around more. I'm gonna stop by the Weeping Willow to see if she's, is she back there at all? Cause I did get an extra joke. I wouldn't think so since she seemingly moved on after the last one. Oh, hey. Footprints. Is this just indicating that I can I can end it or something? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Let me just put my head out here real quick. Make sure there's not like some new thing that popped up in the real world aside from potentially the uh, ending of the game. Okay, it's nighttime. Anything new? Dark Amori. Oh, interesting. The family photo is on the ground again, but only at night. That feels like it might have been a, that might be a slight glitch or something. Uh-oh. Damn you, Demon Mari. Interesting, the lights were, <gasps> oh shit, I actually went in the room. Why did I suddenly decide to come in here? I didn't shake my head. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mom likes to keep them around. Oh, here's the second one. We brought it up with the other one before. Bookcase has been cleared out. Wait, there's nothing here. Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, but there's something I can't actually walk there. 
An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. Is this like Mari's bed or something? Or her stuff? I just like, I blocked out of my memories. Wow, that's interesting. The fact that... Uh-oh. Where are you going? Where are you going, bloody me? I don't know. Maybe it's a storage room, though. It's because this this room is blocked out entirely, right? Oh, hey. I'm not remarking on there being nothing there. Hold on. I gotta look around some more. It's always in the nighttime, right? When this shit really starts coming out. When the demons come back out. All right. Clearly, I have not escaped all this shit. There is no escaping it, after all. Anyone behind me when I open the fridge? No? Oh, I can't go back in there. Damn it. So it's just one and done, huh? There's the strands. Tomorrow you'll be moving away. What would you like to do? Return to white space, sleep until morning. Okay. So this is where I have now the choice to end the game if I want. But not yet. No. We still have things to do. I think it's all the footprints were telling me was that I can basically head out now and finish the game. I still see the goop. Ah, oh, footprints are still here, though. I guess they shall remain. <laughs> in case you forget. Uh, no, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't throw anything in the, the water. It must just be the case that one of the jokes is always the, the winner. Or maybe that one, that one joke is always the winner. Maybe it's random every game. Well, I don't know, though. That doesn't make sense, though. Because if it were random every game, that you, you could potentially get it really early and get, like, a really good weapon for hero early. I don't know, I just find it really weird that they decided to have you get another joke in the area they can only play and in the uh, Kikamori route after you likely would have already solved the the uh, the uh side quest. Feels like it would have made more sense if... Oh, hey, I can actually have a picnic here again. Um, would have made more sense if they had that, that, that one be the one that you could solve it. Like, you couldn't solve it until you did that one. I don't know. Whatever. Or maybe I do need the joke for something else. Oh, breathe in. Oh, breathe out. Oh no, Hero, you really don't like spiders, huh? Nope, if there's one thing my brother can't stand, it's spiders. Unlike Amore, he didn't get over that shit. Why don't you talk to some Sessidim, Basil? I wonder if every new picnic place is gonna have a free time event like this, basically. Every, or every picnic place that we come across, like if I go back to all the old ones, now I'm gonna have some new shit. Uh, okay, I'll try. Well, I think spiders are really misunderstood. Oh God, here we go again. They might look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Yeah, except that we know one time the spiders literally ate you, Basil. Not to mention they're also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening. Since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. Shut up, shut up, Basil. Shut the fuck up. Or something like that. Do you feel better now, hero? No. Darn, I guess that didn't work. It's okay here. We can take it one step at a time. Huh. Breathe in. Oh. Or, you know, calling is okay, too. Oh, actually, she didn't say the... You have nothing else to do at the moment. Even though I have nothing else to do at the moment. <gasps> Mr. Muo, you're back. Mr. Kitty. You're still alive. I knew it. Oh, shit. Just gonna check over here and make sure there's not some new shit in the place where Daddy Longlegs was. Nope, can't go back in. Well, this one doesn't have anything, so I guess not. Just some of the areas will have new, uh, new dialogue. Uh, I kind of bummed. It didn't seem we were adding any new pictures in here after completing, like, additional sub-stories, uh, or side quests in this, which really sucks. I actually think that would have been really cute if we ended up, like, like, we got a picture with, uh, oh. Oh, wait, no, it's just same dead sprout moles. Um, it would be really cute if we, like, at updated with pictures from, uh, like these completed ones. I think they've been really cute. Nice little idea, but I guess they're supposed to be pictures that are based off of real events that happen anyway, right? Sort of the point. Is this place going to be like kind of empty now? Let's just see some guys here. Nah, they seem to be saying the same shit. Still, they all still seem to be here. It doesn't seem any emptier. All right, I don't see anything new in the uh, Sproutmo colony here. Oh, hey! 
<gasps> oh shit! There was a part that I was like, I was like, is it just me? Is there actually a hole in the floor? There is. I can actually come back here now. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Does that mean I can actually do something now? Oh hey, there's actually enemies in here. These things again. Whatever the fuck it is. That's right, because there was actually uh, shit that I couldn't do in here before. It's like I, I reached an area where it was like, okay, there's like a secret wall or something, but I couldn't get past it. Maybe I can now. The hell are you? It's a different looking one. Just more random goopy shapes. Yeah, they don't give you experience and I always just say the same thing. So, Sonny, I'm sorry when they die. Oh, hey, this thing's... I think some of the shadows are originally like transparent. Now I can actually like do battle with them. Not that they seem to really do anything. Kels... Wait, you saw Kel's sadness and what? And he weeped for him or something? Or wept for him? Oh, hey. You found a book of interest. Is this something new? No, it's the same thing. Did I pass by him? I, I guess they all, all the books that were here before is, is are still here. Yeah, they're, they're still here. Oh, God. Weird Bambi thing. I th this is the one I found on the train. Okay, the door that was over here is not here anymore. On the right side, that is. But we still got that ray of light. Okay, so can I do something in here now? Grand piano. The word of Mori is etched across the center. And unlike before, I'm actually bringing Kel, Aubrey, and uh, Hero in here. The lost library. This actually... It does heal me. Yeah. The wall's hollow. What do I need to do? I'm just going to switch to somebody else. Does it change anything? I don't think I can do anything still. Hmm. But I can come back here. That's sort of the point. Unless I have to kill like, every one of the th shadows in here. Maybe I do, actually. Maybe I kill these things until... Let's give that a try. Let's just see if that does anything. I just realized I actually can't use skills when they're afraid. Uh, okay, I think I killed them all. I don't think anything happened, sadly. Maybe this is like a place I come back to once I've gotten all the letters or something. All right, you guys told me by the way that last picture was actually a reference to JoJo, because of course it is. All right, 25,000, whatever. So we got two left. Yeah, 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 whatever, man. All right, while we're at it, might as well look around down here and see if there's any new dank shit. Yeah, so th I think these are all these these dead bodies are actually us. Us in previous adventures and we didn't make it. Or, or maybe not. Actually, I think they said I can't die right in this world. So basically, it's all of them. Because see, this, this bow is exactly the same as Aubrey's. Yeah. So they've all died a painful, stupid death here. All right, I want to talk to this guy down here real quick. I'm not going to do anything, but I, I'm just kind of curious to see what he says now. If he says something different. He should, I feel like, at this point. Unless I still got to go find Sweetheart somewhere. Oh, actually, I was actually told, too, that apparently if I stand on this vent for a while, something will happen. What in the fucking fuck? What? Uh-oh. Hi, Sonny. Now Sonny's walking away from me. What the fuck is happening? God, there's so many fucking Easter eggs in this game. Jesus. Is that it? Let me guess. One and done. Yep. Apparently. You're brave to speak to me again, young ones. Time has passed. Sweet house left and will not return. I know this. Now it's time for me to look for a new owner. You with the empty eyes, you are here now. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. Be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. Would you like that power? Nah. You will change your mind soon enough. Okay. Interesting. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say he necessarily warns you, right? He just says, you do you want this power? Unless he gives another warning after that. But I mean, by that point, it is the end of the game. So, I mean, it's a little more forgivable, at least. If, even if he doesn't like warn you a ton. Sure, I'll take some popcorn. Yeah, I can't wait to get rid of this fucking place, though. All right, well, looking around Sweetheart's Castle, I'm really not seeing anything. Oh, I got an achievement that time. 
Interesting. What was that for? Finding all the mirrors? Yep. It says visit all mirrors. That was an achievement. I just realized. This says these are beds for sprout moles. So why the fuck were we acting like before? Like the bed was some big invention to the sprout moles. If they already have beds for sprout moles here in this castle. God damn it. Stupid sprout moles. Not that any of them are actually using it. <laughs> that was sleeping. He's sleeping on the fucking floor. You stupid asshole. I, I, I do wonder if those if that was all the mirrors were for though. We're just just finding them all and getting that achievement or if they're actually are different in the other route just sort of a uh, collectible for only that achievement but that's kind of it i mean kind of weird just because really every mirror is exactly the same right you get the same dialogue and the same picture so definitely be an unusual uh an unusual achievement what her sweetheart is now anyway uh humphrey did say he took care of her right i wonder if that means she's fucking dead my god i hope so and if she is i hope i see her dead lifeless bodies it's like a fucking teabagger actually i don't know if i eat this one I didn't. More jam packets. All right, I didn't see anything here. Aside from the keeper of the castle and the artist thing, that might kind of be it until I change the castle. All right, what is the fifth one? Oh my God, how fucking beautiful. We're all gods. That's right, worship us. The final revelation by the great artist Rococo. I won't lie, I struggled with this one, but I think it turned out half decent. The next one could be better. Damn, Kel looks fucking buff in that picture. Hell yeah, I do. All right, how much does the last one cost? Let me guess 30. God, I hope it's not 50. Don't be 50, please. Fuck you, dude. God damn it, man. Ugh. Well, I'll just keep playing. Hopefully get enough money just through beating super bosses and shit, but god damn it. I'm gonna have to go and start grinding for money. Money is kind of useless in this game, to be honest, except for this. This is like the only thing to spend it on, and everything else is healing items, which you don't need because you find a billion of them on, on the map. Seriously. There's an overabundance of healing items chests. Well, I guess I go to Deep Well. It's kind of the only place I haven't been yet. Oh, hey. Hitchhiker. Hello there, children. <laughs> hey, I'm interested in a curiosity. I know a place you may have heard of it. It goes by many names. The Dark Void, the Deep Pit, the Shadowy Chasm. Here in Deep Well, we call it the Abyss. Just past the end of the highway. Oh, this is where the final is gonna be. Yep. Would you like me to take you there? Yes. Oh, you're a hitchhiker. Shouldn't we be taking you somewhere? Whoa. <laughs> fade in and then fade it out. The abyss. <gasps> letters. Oh, well, there you go. The final letter. And this is where I see all the other letters too. I actually almost makes me wonder if this guy wouldn't have shown up until I got every other letter. Ooh, should I try this yet? Yeah, why not? Wow, final one. Behold, our fully dead lifeless body. Yup, yup, hair. Oh! What the hell? Oh my god. My game just crashed. It just booted me out. You motherfuckers! Oh my god, please. Fuck you, Amori. Is that it? Oh. We're right back. That was intentional. We're, fi we're fine, we're good. I was a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was like, just, it just crashed your game. That's it. That's the achievement. <laughs> Good job. Ooh, yeah, I think, I think it is. You probably, this guy probably doesn't show up until you get all the other letters and then you can come here and see the path open before you. <laughs> Those cheeky assholes. Oh, it got, now it's all smothered out. Who gives a shit? We're like, ah, fuck that. We're fine. We're, we're alive now. Oh, uh, so the hair came down. So it's supposed to be Mari, I think, right? I actually thought it would end up being Basil in the end. Like after we did it, we'd end up seeing it's actually Basil hanging from there. But the hair definitely looked more like Mari's. 
Cheeburger in paradise. Oh, oh god. New enemies or this guy looks like the same dude. Yeah, it's just the fucking fish head dudes. Or reverse mermaids. Rain cloud. Time to go deeper yet again. Okay, I fought all you guys before. A whole pizza. Confetti. Yay. Air horn. Oh. Did you want to go back to deep well? Oh, you can take me back, huh? Oh, hey. It's getting darker. And I'm starting to see these guys now. Ooh, interesting. This is gonna, because this is bringing me closer back to, to dark space, right? Actually, I, it makes me wonder if now I'm going to be able to, like, maybe freely go back to dark space whenever I want or something. It's going to, like, actually give me a path to, to there. Kind of hard to imagine that would be the case, though. As I, it seems like the whole point is for me to avoid it, right? That's this is conclusion that we've come to after, uh... Oh, boy. <gasps> oh, interesting. Oh, this is also a question mark. Oh, yeah, these are the dark fishies I saw back in, uh black space. Actually, maybe wonder if I could interact with them when I was out there, but I couldn't ever reach them. They were always out on the outer walls. They still say, Sonny, I'm sorry after I kill them. No, that one didn't. That one just died. That was just a big weird fish thing. Ew, there's another thing over there. S berry smoothie. What are you supposed to be? A uh, slightly human looking thing. Holy shit, that was fucking loud. There's it. There it is. There's only the claymation looking ones that do it. Actually, it makes you wonder that maybe the modeling clay that I found in the box, or that's where these guys come into play. Maybe I did made some weird, funny shapes or something. That's and that's what created these guys. I like made some shit with one of my friends at some point, or just the idea of these guys, maybe. I think it's the only kind of claymation looking dudes I've come across. Oh. <laughs> this guy's like, are you sure you want to keep going? <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm starting to find the dead bodies of uh, my friends again. You guys, uh, no, you guys are just dudes I can step on. Demon fish. I got little portals here. Guys, like, you want to go back? No. Must take this deeper. Snow cone. Baseball cap. It is not alive. Uh, mystical hat. Dating back to 1990X. Uh, defense plus 10, speed plus 15. Is that better than what, uh, Kel has? He's got luck, and that's, that's just too good for him. I mean, he probably could use the defense, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Where we keep going? Oh, God. Uh, weird over your head. Defense plus 13. Heart plus 40. Pre prevents emotion. Interesting. Hmm. That could potentially be good if you're trying, if like some super boss or something is like starts abusing the uh, emotion thing to beat the shit out of you. Oh. Amari? Oh my god. What the fuck? It is not alive. It was for a second, but then it died. Hey, look, Aubrey. It's you. Oh, that's fucking freaky, dude. The skeletons. Doom. Doom awaits us. Deeper. Deeper. Oh boy. We are going back, boys. What the fuck is going on down here? I'm like, I just can't get enough of dark, of, of dark black space. Let's go back. The hell's that? It's a lump. Oh, okay. Hi. 
Uh-oh. Tentacle, tentacle, Abby? Oh, fuck, I can't even... I can't use any skills. Is there any way I can, uh, potentially, like, use a toy or something on them to... Must be a good time to use dynamite. Actually, it might not be a bad time to use it. Let's use confetti. Oh, hey, yeah, there we go. There we go, now we're good. Ah! Ow. Ow. Oh, guys, afraid again. Damn it. Dynamite! Ah, that's not that good. At not at this point. Okay, fuck. That's exactly why I didn't want to have, uh, get scared again. Who the fucking hell is this thing supposed to be? Abby. How's this relate to the lore? Kill these tentacles. I don't know if they're going to come back afterwards or not, but hopefully not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Weakens them. Let, let their guard down. Fuck. Ah, I was afraid of that. Okay, well, that's one tentacle dead. Ow! Ah, oh, she's afraid! <laughs> Amori cannot be afraid! He fears nothing. I think it did come back. Fuck. Okay, I think I should just ignore these fucking tentacles then. And just murder Abby. I don't even imagine I can- I can- That I can actually inflict a, uh, stats- a- An emotion on these guys. I think it is very unlikely. Take this, assholes! Fully buffed out and did not do a lot. I think the fact they keep lowering, it keeps they keep debuffing me too is uh, not helping. Ah! Take that, bitch! Ow! Fuck! Ow, fuck again. Oh, fuck. Now he's angry. Hey, eat this shit. Good timing, dickhead. Did some fucking damage. Damn it. Here's afraid. I don't think he's gonna be able to use the skill now. Oh fuck! That's not good. Ah, didn't like that. Oh, it's getting hurt now. Uh, okay, this is definitely a time for, uh, that fucking jam. Ow. Ow. I'm fine, I can't die this turn. Your friends are back. I wonder if the debuffs on them are maybe gone. Ow. I hope so, because I'm going to need to heal everybody a lot. Yes. Ow, ow. Oh my god, stop hitting me. Release my energy. Using the power of friendship, we will kill you! Oh my god, that damage! Ugh. 
Those tentacles be dead. I don't think I made snacks for everybody. Okay, s still there. I uh, probably should heal Amari. Heal. Ah! Abby uses heart. Fuck you. That's the tentacles out of there. So, okay, she can only bring back one at a time. All right, time to fuck you up. We're gonna tickle you to death. Bubba bitch. So when Kel doesn't kill you first. Ugh! Actually, I meant to do running, running gun. I thought, I thought that's what I did. I guess not. Oh, whatever. This will fucking kill her. Boom. Give me that 30,000 experience of 10,000 clams. So go towards art. All right. Now what? Please. No more. I am sorry. I am eight small pools. Red tentacles across headspace. Oh. Wow, we actually get an explanation for that after all. Oh, all those tentacles were you. I am bring offerings there. Please, please, please forgive me, my best friend. Yes, no. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Thank you, dreamer. Truth, I am used to know it, but I am cannot remember. Wow, English is kind of broken too. So they used to know the truth, but they don't anymore. Interesting. So now I gotta find the tentacles again and I'll get like stuff or items. Oh my God, we are fucking back here again. And there's no static at least. Thank God. How the fuck did I get back here again? Oh, and, and there's Kel. And I can't get to him. They're not in my party anymore either. Is this locked? It is. Interesting. Yeah, I, I'm, this is the same place I was at before. But there's no static this time. God, I wish I had. I wish that was. It was this way when I came here last time. Is the weather vane still here? It is. I can't get to everybody else. I like the music here. Kind of cool. Got the kind of new age synth sound to it. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. <gasps> ladder. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's the ladder that I used to get here the first time with uh, on the raft with Basil. Okay. If I go back to this place now, I think different. Go inside this dude or whatever. Wait. Oh, it's not letting me go back there again. Okay, that so not totally the same. I can't go back to the place that was when I touched this dude. I guess that was the only the other one. So it's kind of weird because it seems like the path I, I had the weather vane point north, but the path up there was already open. So I guess pointing up doesn't really do anything anymore. Unless I can now leave through the ladder. Oh wait, 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 no. Never mind. I, I, I clicked the wrong guy. Okay, well, I can see better now. So, not sure if any, I doubt anything new is going to happen, but let's go see the giant floating hand in the sky. Ah, oh, shit, that actually makes me piss because I, now I wish I came here when I, uh, when there wasn't static. I wish I'd, I, if I, re I realized I, I could come here later again and there'd be no static, then I would have come later because... I'm locked out of that area now where I, where it's not like there was like some big ginormous looking Mari in there that I couldn't see because of all the static. Probably could have seen a lot better now. All right, there's the ladder. Like, what is this even supposed to be, huh? Like, what's the, what is the significance of that? Okay, so I'm, I'm here now. Now what? Can I? If I stab myself, do I return to black space? That's the only way out of here, seemingly. 
Oh no, it brings me back out here again. And Aubrey is standing a little higher than everybody else for reasons. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, what the heck? Aubrey, why is your sprite so weird? You're freaking me out, girl. I suspect it's normal now. So now I should go find all the tentacles. <laughs> I like how I was just br I was just bringing that up. I'm like, I guess there was nothing to these tentacles. Guess again, bitch. All right, yes, yeah, take me to deep well. Who the hell is Abby though? Seriously, what the fuck is up with that shit? Give me some sushi, Mari. It's like some another version of you. Has four letters like her. There's one right there. I am. I am a gift for you, dreamer. Abby gave you all reliable. Is that a weapon? It is. Hero's ultimate weapon. Snacks will restore more hearts and juice in battle. Fuck yeah. And it gives him more HP and more juice. Not as, not as powerful as a tenderizer, but that's fucking fine. Uh, so this is actually where I get all my ultimate weapons for everybody. That's neat. Oh, and it disappears. An empty puddle. Hey, all right, cool. Uh. I have to try to remember all this shit is, though. They, they say there were eight tentacles? That's a lot of tentacles. I wonder if I should return to them again, too, after I found all the items. They, like, say something different. Oh, I remember where a few of them are. The hell? Do I want to go back to Deeper Well? Oh. That's convenient. Fast travel, I like it. So there actually is an easier way to get back here and not having to run all the way from the other area. I was like, why is that toilet glowing? <laughs> Unflush me. Hey, something new here. <laughs> this place is looking a little rough. Hey, Mr. Jawsome, we've come to say hi. Oh, I see. Everything's gone to shit since Hero left. You see, their profit margins are so down. The era arrow has gone off the chart and gone like three feet below it. Hero, is it really you? My son has returned to me. Yup, sure is. How's everything going? Business is doing bad, Hero. Just look around. Real bad. Things haven't been the same since you left us. <laughs> this is still the same cup of coffee you gave me when you last left. That's a change. I'm afraid to drink it, because then if it's, I drink it, he'll be gone forever. I'll leave us back to act. Strix has come to a halt, and we've been losing customers left and right. All signs are pointing to the same thing. This ain't the path I'm supposed to be taking in life. Don't say that, Mr. Jawsome. You're the best and only boss I've ever had. <laughs> Don't be wrong. I ain't putting myself down or nothing. This is just me learning a life lesson. I've got all kinds of successful side hustles going on, but the last resort was a real passion of mine, you know? Yeah. If I would make my decision, I guess it's time for me to call it quits. Oh boy. Boy, Mr. Jossum, you can't give up now. Take this, hero. It's for everything you've done for me. <sighs> Wait. Well, that was a picture of us. I checked it before. There was a picture of you and I there. Why not turn to a giant check? Oh, okay then. Thank you very much. It's just like him finally getting paid. There's also something else. Hero, I want you to take over the last resort for me. Oh. <sighs> We're the boss? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Here's your tie, boss man. What? Are, are you sure? But I'm only 15 years old. Yeah, there we go. We finally got someone's age here. Hero, I've never been more sure of anything in my entire life. Don't tell the others, but you always my favorite. Well, duh. You told me it every day. Mr. Jossum. Heh. And with that, everything is settled. There's only one thing left to do now. Ah! <laughs> I've got legs after all. Look at that. It's time for vacation, baby. Old Jossum's gonna have the time of his life. I'll see you around. Don't you miss me now. Ja ha ha ha! Bye, Mr. Jossum. I will miss you. So I got a tie? I don't see one. Maybe just in spirit. 
That'd be funny if Hero's sprite changed rate a tie on now at all times. Socks are down. Very down. Okay. So he moved on. Hey, it's, it's picture Hero up there. All right. All right, Hero, it's time. Do your thing. Save this company. Do it. Do it now. Uh-oh. Ah, fuck. Where do you want to go? Black space! Oh, shit. I can go back to black space. Are you kidding me? Because I'm just not done here. Ah, right. This area. Oh, hey, it's a dude here now. It was a dude here. And he's gone. And it's gone. I took a nice nap and nothing happened. Uh, I mean, can I do anything here? There's a spider I can't interact with. I also can't use the elevator I used to get here. Uh, anything at all. I see a mood. Doesn't look like it. <sighs> Only one way out. And we're back. Can I go back in here now? Nope. One time only. Just like everything. Hi boss, everything's taken care of for today, so you can go ahead and relax. How many need a fast sacks of cash? Says whatever. Oh, the guys that were waiting are gone too. Oh my God, look. The mantle has been passed. Someone who is not a shark has now inherited the business. Damn, they sure update this place quickly. What? Feed Humphrey? Whoa, that's a giant check for it. Oh, a million clams. I don't know any if, if any banks around here, but I do know someone might be hungry for clams. Oh, fuck him though, dude. Fuck Humphrey. I want him to starve to death. You can fucking suck my balls. Or I don't want to help him again. Leave him to demon die. Hey, where did, uh, what's his face go? Burly. May all the kids that were here now are actually gone. Like they're not hired anymore. Or literally everybody's gone. Oh, wait, this guy's still here. Uh. Oh, the kids are gone. They are. They've been set free. They might be back at the playground then. I'm gonna just sell the check for a bunch of clams. So I can use those clams to buy the next, uh. Well, all right, guys. I think this is uh, a good place to end things here for now. We'll have to save feeding Humphrey for uh, next time. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.